in my last video i dropped the tutorial of this particular test effect and if you've watched the video you will remember i said i'm going to drop the tutorial of this flyer design in this video due to the popular demand from different persons who want the tutorial of this design now if you are new to my channel and you've not watched the last video just check right in the description box below you will see the link to this particular um to the tutorial on how to create this text effect okay now stick around and follow me carefully while i take you on the journey so how i was able to create this simple but very beautiful design i will see you in the video so once again you are welcome to this particular tutorial now because in my last video i dropped the tutorials for this test effect i am not going to be repeating that in this tutorial i'm just going to be bringing it directly into this tutorial and that is why it's very important for you to watch that tutorial just check the description box below so that you will learn how i was able to create this simple text effect it is very simple okay now one important thing you need to know about this particular tutorial are the resources i use they are the one that particularly make this test effects um this flyer design standard for example look at this look at this look at this um blood all right so taking this for example look at this just pay attention to my cursor or this blood um this blood busier icon and this one basically all of these tutorials even this one okay so um yeah all of these resources rather these are the things that made this tutorial this particular design outstanding and to be able to get them so that you can also recreate your own design just check the description box below you will see the link to my telegram community my youtube telegram community where you can get all of these resources even the funds for free for totally free you will join about 900 plus persons my youtube uh, family in that particular community all right so straight away let's go right into what we have for this particular tutorial the first thing is i'm going to clear all of this so that i can work with a clear um with a, with a clear workspace okay all right so all i have now is just my text effect don't forget i said i am not going to be removing that i am not going to be deleting that so that um i'll be able to save more time now our test effect is ready the next thing i'm going to do now is to ensure that all my test effects are logged so that nothing is going to tamper with them now also this is the creative magician basically my trademark okay um that is basically just my signature okay yeah you can call it my brand signature so i'm not also going to remove that now this background is very simple if you also watch my last video you will know how i came about this background it is very very simple it is even a plain background there are no serious background manipulation in this tutorial i didn't want to engage any background manipulation see I, how i created my background just using text effect um gradient okay i use gradient not text effect please now okay mark it now the next thing i'm going to do now is to create a shape okay create a shape then move it down okay increase the size increase the size and i'm um, just stretch it okay move this here then mark it okay so this is what we are on mark it all right so the next thing i'm going to do now is to click on this particular shape again click on edit all right then i'm going to select this color okay this particular color here just in case you need to know the color code the color code is 3f0038 3f0038 if you also need the color palette so that you can easily pick it also check the telegram community you will see the color palette there so mark it and then we are done with this for now now the next thing i'm going to do now is to import my resources okay i'll start importing my um resources so follow me carefully okay so these are the resources i use for this particular tutorial i'm just going to add everything all right i'll begin to select them one after the other okay so the first thing is my phone now if you check that particular design very well you realize that this was not the phone i used there 
okay now you can use any phone of your choice you can use any phone png if you don't know how to download them there is another video on my channel just check through my channel check through my videos my recent videos you will see a tutorial where i talk about how to max images into phone right then i in that same video i talk about how to download some of the smartphone pngs they are very very simple and you can easily download them so i'm going to use this particular one for the sake of this tutorial okay now the next thing i'm going to use i'm going to um use the next resources is this one to front just move it to front this is it then the first thing i'm going to do to it is to change the color click on this then this is the color i'm using all right this is the color i'm using you can just pick this one from the background mark it then increase this to the highest okay so increase the shade to the lowest all right now this is shade when you do like this you are increasing the shade when you do like this you are reducing it so click on ok and this is what you've got mark it reduce the size move it here a bit you can see that move it here a bit reduce the size some more then send it to back okay this is what i've got send it to back you can move this to the right a bit okay move it to the left a bit now copy this and move it here now click on crop tap on this okay this particular um um function here mark it and then this is what you've got for the other side use your grid line to ensure that they are well placed on they are well placed horizontally okay so you can see um how i did that then send this to back right send this to back yeah move this here a bit so you can see them they are well aligned now this is all about that just lock it okay lock this to yeah lock this to so that they don't move when you are tampering with the other parts of the design okay now the next thing i'm going to do is to click on my text yeah bring the text here i already have my text copied so i'm just going to paste it look at it pixel rbz to series now you can always use any fonts for this particular tutorial on my own end here i use the poppins okay i use poppins font for the text okay so this is poppins i use poppin slides then i use the bold one for this okay so this is it then the next thing i did was to reduce the spacing okay i like adjusting the spacing of my font especially my sans serif fonts because their spaces are not something they are um their space their spaces basically are not think are not things i'm always comfortable with okay now copy this move this here then the fonts the text for this is your one-stop solution to your this and that problem just reduce the size then i also made some parts bold why some parts light okay your one stop okay i think i just i made it basically one stop solution because that is more like the keyword there one stop solution to your bear problems okay so this is what i've got here then just move this down a bit okay so this is it this is getting amazing now now the next thing I, I worked on or I'm going to work on rather is this particular blood busier icon okay more like I want to call it a pen um, pen icon so now come to color filters right come to color filters then adjust the hue so that the color can blend well with the one in the background you see if I use blue for example there's nothing in this design that associates with blue so it is an odd color so then i just have to pick a color that syncs with something about the design and then i'm just going to stop at 180 okay yeah basically let me adjust this i will leave this at 180 then i will increase the size you can see it then move this here all right let me reduce the size some more so this is what i've got okay now this is getting more interesting now now the next tool is this send this to front this is it the first thing i'm going to do is to adjust the color filter so that this blue also can change to a color that okay 
think I'm getting. Yeah, this is an amazing color. 132. 132, yeah. I'm just going to reduce the size. Then I'm going to adjust it to blend with this. You can see the idea behind this. Look at this. If you look at this, you'll realize that I made it blend together with this curved part of this S. Okay? Look at it, this part. You can see that that was very strategic. Okay? That was very strategic to help the visual the visual balance of the design okay so that is that about that the next thing now is our um our phone okay now click on this shape right click on the shape move this here move this here then move this up a bit to curve it curve the edges rather curve the edges make the edges um curved then adjust this some more now send it to back all right but then move it up okay so you can see what i just did here move it up then the next thing i'm going to do now is to click on my um yeah this particular function send it to front now reduce the size and uh, move this here okay so this is this is to form um what do we call it in design this is a new four fusing new morphism yeah i think this is new morphism yeah pneumorphism so that is what this particular I, i'm going to blend it basically to form that so that it will look like it's popping out oh no don't adjust the eel don't adjust the eel just adjust the contrast yeah you only have business with the contrast okay okay but then instead of adjusting the contrast so what you can do instead is this um go back to this yeah just leave it at the normal yeah the normal settings now go to that background look at it this is it click on plus now i want to adjust the color click on plus then pick the color okay pick this color yeah pick the color on this particular image okay then mark it now you can see that the pneumorphism is now very obvious can see that it makes it look like a new um a new morphism effect yeah so adjust it adjust your phone to to be center aligned yeah adjust your phone to be center aligned adjust the shape to be center aligned let everything be center aligned so that this particular icon can also be center aligned now this is beautiful okay this is actually very beautiful yes this is what i've got now the next thing i'm going to do now yeah but before then let me adjust this let me adjust this so that it be well balanced okay the next thing i'm going to do now is to um type in a text i'm going to type in my text basically i'm going to copy this okay then i'm going to use this color then just delete all of this and click on live on so it's going to be live on yes then the next thing i did was to bring in my just position this to the center first the next thing i did was to bring in my yeah bring in the shape first so that i can bring in the screenshots of my profile okay basically of my youtube pro profile so i cut the edges first then yes this is what i've got but then i want to reduce i want to move this down a bit this pneumorphism then i want to reduce the size a bit too so that the screenshot of my of my youtube can be more obvious move this up a bit now this is the, the next thing i'm going to do just to bring in the texture okay i'm going to bring it in as a texture that's the screenshot of my profile okay okay so i just selected the screenshot of my um profile okay mark it and yeah this is what i've got so i need to start importing and adjusting basically so that it's going to blend well so that my screenshot is going to fit well into the shape so take out the time at this point and this is it 
I think this is this looks good, right? Okay, I think I'll just leave this. This looks great actually. So this is it. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to save my work. I think basically I'm done with this work. This is the design and this is how it looks. So but then you can decide to adjust this so that it can fit in well. And just adjust this, adjust this, adjust this, then increase the size. You can see what I'm doing. Copy it if you have to copy so that the quality will not be too low. Then position is. You can see what I just did. Very simple. This is it. Now reduce the size. And this is what you got. This is very, very amazing. Now you can save your work to front. You can save your work. It is very simple. But then before we save our work, I need to adjust this particular PNG, this smartphone PNG, so that this blue part on it is going to change to our purple, our orange right there. You can see it. You can see it changing. Look at the phone. You can see that. So I'm going, I need to adjust that too. And then we've got this. This is amazing now. All right. So basically, I'm just going to save changes. Okay. Then I'm going to save as image. Then I'm going to save my work and then my work is gonna be ready. And that is all about this tutorial. Now, thank you for following to this point. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to give a subscribe. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, share it with people, turn on your notification bell so that you can notify you whenever I drop my next content and um, stay amazing. I will see you in the next video.